Revan could feel the Emperor feeding on him, drawing on his power to sate his endless hunger. Though the two were physically separated by a dozen parsecs, there was still an unbreakable mental link, fashioned by the Emperor and sustained by the infernal machines powering the cell. Yet the Emperor wanted more than to leech off his fallen adversary's power to sustain his own twisted existence. Revan could feel the enemy inside his head. He could sense the unmistakable darkness of the Emperor sifting through his thoughts and memories, seeking, probing, digging for answers. He wanted information on the Republic and the Jedi. How strong were they? Were they vulnerable? How much did they know about the Sith and the Emperor himself? He wanted information on Revan. What had happened during his own invasion of the Republic? Why had it failed? How had he freed himself from the Emperor's control? The answers were all there, but Revan would not surrender them easily. Though he was physically helpless, mentally he was strong enough to wage war against the Emperor, guarding and protecting his secrets for however long it might take. And Revan knew something the Emperor did not. The connection between them went both ways. There were brief moments, times when the Emperor was intently focused on something else, when he could subvert their relationship by planting seeds in the Emperor's thoughts. He had to be careful, lest his enemy discover what he was doing, but he was able to push and nudge the Emperor's own thoughts and beliefs, subtly manipulating them in ways that could have profound effects. Revan played on the Emperor's caution and patience, constantly pushing them to the forefront of his enemy's mind. He augmented his irrational fear of death. At every opportunity, he reinforced the idea that invading the Republic was reckless and dangerous. It was impossible to know what would have happened if Scourge had not betrayed them in the throne room. They might have lost anyway, but they also might have defeated the Emperor forever freeing the galaxy from the threat of annihilation at the hands of a madman. There was no way to be sure, and no point in dwelling on the past. Revan was certain of one thing, though. For however many centuries his body survived in stasis, he would fight to stop the Emperor from invading the Republic. He clung to this certainty. It gave him hope. He knew there was no chance of escape from his prison, he knew it was inevitable that one day the Emperor would win their endless battle of wills. But if he managed to delay him for fifty years, Bastila might never have to experience the horrors of another galactic war. A hundred, and his son could live his whole life in an era of peace, never knowing the fear of facing utter annihilation. Whenever his thoughts turned to his wife and son, he tried to reach out to them through the Force offering comfort and strength from the other side of the galaxy. He didn't know if they ever felt him, but he liked to imagine that they did. Even if they couldn't, just thinking of them gave him strength. Revan was fighting for the future of his wife and child, and it was a fight he did not intend to lose. <laughs>